Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms. Today we're going to be taking a look at ploughing. So what ploughing is, how to plough, why you would need to plough, uh, just some basic concepts for this game mechanic. So let's get into it. Alright, so first thing you need to know about ploughs is where to buy them. So ploughs are in the tool section under ploughs and then there's a variety of ploughs that you can choose from. So these are all moldboard ploughs. Uh, the moldboard plough is characteristic of the moldboard so the fins or the little wings which are for the fur furrows so you can see them there and then this is a modified uh, subsoiler which is a which is a plow for the purpose of the game it's, it functions of, as a plow but it's classed as a subsoiler so it basically gives you the same result all right so how do you plow so obviously you've got to connect it pretty straightforward now what we need to do to start ploughing is this for this particular plough lower it down drive across our field and you can see now we're getting a a different ground state right there and that is pretty much it so you can see that the, the ground texture has changed from a cultivated state to now a ploughed state so if we go and check our uh, PDA and our, uh, I guess our growth map, you can see that we've got the seed bed and then we've got the purple section to indicate that we ploughed the field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this guy off on a worker and we're going to do a little bit more ploughing. And we're going to go connect a larger plough. So what I want to do is just to showcase this a little bit more. Actually, before I do that, what I am going to do is lift the plough. So you can also rotate the plough, so if you want to change sides. So you can do that by holding L1, pressing square on the PS5. And that will change the, the angle. And if we're going to hire a worker, the worker will just start, lower the plough for us, and get started on that work. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to go buy a high horsepower a high horsepower tractor. So we'll just go to the John Deere 9RX. All right, and we've got the the largest base game plow, which is this one just here. So it has Cavernal. This is so this is the Cavernal Land PW112. So it's got a nine meter, six to nine meter working width and a 17 kph top speed with a 320 horsepower uh, tractor requirement. So let's go and put this guy to work. So you can see it's quite long, which is a little bit of an issue. So I'm just going to unfold that. And what we should notice here is it'll start to spread. Okay, so we're just going to lower the plough. So you can see I'm lowering it into our adjacent field and nothing's happening. But I will demonstrate something in a second. The allow create fields function. So basically, as you can see, if we're going to do this manually, we just need to line up our run. Make sure we're getting the desired coverage. And we can plow just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook over here and demonstrate the allow create fields function. So what the allow create fields function does is basically it allows you to plow a field where there is no plowed state. So you can see here we're plowing, plowing into the grass section. Nothing's happening. However, if I hit allow create fields and now start plowing you can see that the grass texture now turns to a plowed, plowed texture. So you can see that there. So basically why would you want to do this? So on Elm Creek field 56 is joined. All right, so this is, I've done this on purpose to demonstrate this. But basically say if we wanted to join field 56 and 57, we could do allow create fields in this section of grass here. 
to allow that to happen, to join those two fields together. So that is allow create fields. So let's go check on, check on our worker. So you can see our worker is just plowing away, no problems at all. So the reason why you would want to plow is basically in the help menu, if you're not familiar. So if I can remember where to get it. So plowing is needed after you harvest root crops like potatoes, corn and sugar beet. Plows can be used to create fields, allowing you to extend in field and combine multiple, multiple fields or to create entirely new ones. Uh, they will bring up stones. So it depends on, depends on if you've got that turned on, that setting on or not. Uh, you can also use spaders or subsoilers. They prevent weeds from growing and increase yield for the next harvest. Subsoilers move much faster and have lower tractor power requirements, but they can't create fields and will dig up even bigger stones. So basically, if you're playing with uh, weeds on, uh, plowing required, etc., this is where you would want to use plowing. However, if you don't have those settings on, you may not need to worry about uh, plowing but if you if you want to get you know, if you want to include plowing into your gameplay settings can be turned off in the crops and growth menu so periodic plowing is currently turned on so if I turn that off that removes the plowing requirement for my uh, fields all right so you can maintain a high yield so that's pretty much that so that's subsoiler so you want to go for the agrisem cultiplow platinum 8 meter and I'll explain why shortly. So I'm just going to purchase that. So it's 68,000 to buy. It's got a 435 horsepower requirement. So in comparison to the Cavernal Land, it's cheaper. It has slightly more horsepower requirement. And it has a larger working width. However, what is good about it? Go and grab, we'll go and pick this up and I'll give it a quick demo. Alright, so this is, the, this is it here. So let's unfold this, this guy. Now the thing about a subsoiler which is good, so let's, uh, let's lower this down. All right, so it doesn't give you a ploughed state. However, it does give you the benefit of a plough. It just doesn't give you the texture, okay? So you can actually, so let's get a worker hide here use this as, if you prefer but my go-to choice for plow is the it's the lizard 6mt 9mt subsoil so i go the 9mt so 320 horsepower so let's buy that so the reason why i like this is because it's nice and easy to use it's got a nice wide working width and it's got a pretty reasonable speed too the only problem i have with this is sometimes when the workers get involved they do leave bits behind but as you can see here, like we'll just drop this guy in. And you can see how much we're able to cover. And how quickly we're able to do it. So let's just hook, hook in here. Give you a bit of, a bit of idea. So really, really straightforward and easy. Once again, if we want to create fields, we can do that. Just by allowing create fields there. So we can limit to fields. So this guy should still be, yep. So it gives us that beautiful plowed texture that we're after. Now, like I said before, you don't have to play with plowing turned on, but it is a mandatory step in the uh, process if you're gonna go do arable farming. So this one we're using here is a mod, so you'll find it in the mod hub on the PS5. It's in the downloadable content section. It's free for all players. Uh, so if you want to pick that up, but otherwise we've got yeah our basic moldboard plows. We've got our subsoiler that we can use in the UI. If you're looking at the subsoilers at the top there, it'll generally tell you if you can use it as a plow. So if you want to go down that path, just make sure you've got the right implement. The moldboard plows are good. They're just a little bit a little bit challenging to use at times. But if you want to go for authenticity in your gameplay, this is definitely the go. However, for speed and efficiency. I like the uh, the lizard subsoiler, especially the, the 9MT. So you can just see how we're able to knock down this 
sorghum in this case. Normally I wouldn't do this, but this is just for demonstration purposes. You can just see how efficient that is able to knock that down. And a good thing too is it'll do forward and backwards. So we don't have to rotate it, we don't have to we don't have to use it like we would a moldboard plough. Which is very, very simple, very straightforward. Alright, no worries. So that's basically yeah, that's that's ploughing, that's some ploughing examples, how you plough. Uh, why you would want to plow and you can see the difference in the field texture from uh, plowed to in this case harvested and as you can see some weeds in there as well I believe and then we've got the field stone that have come up as well so small stones if you want to see them they are on your uh, soil composition map so you can see them there signified in yellow uh, we've got yellow stones so that's what that is all right Thanks very much for watching guys. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.